Hello, I'm Krishna Raghavindran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to create an educational app for kids. So this is an object identification app for kids. Now let me explain you how this app works. First, a, a picture will be shown for the kids. Now you can see there's a picture of a bed and then the kid should identify what what's there in the picture. So if if he identifies correct, then it will show correct or else it will show wrong. First, you need to make sure you have images like you can see here. You can see that I have an image of a bed, a house and then a laptop. So we are going to use these images to create the app, the identification app. You can get images like this one from free stock image websites like Pexels and Pixabay. The link for the websites are in the description below. Now let's create the educational app. We are going to use MIT App Inventor. So if you don't know what MIT App Inventor is, you can check out my tutorials in my channel. First, we are going to bring in a label. We are going to bring this label to be at the middle of the screen. So let's put the align horizontal of screen one to be center. Now we are going to change the text of this label to be identify the picture. Now we are going to increase the font size of this label to be 30 and let's make the font to be bold. Next we are going to bring in an image and let's put the width of this image to be fill parent so that it occupies all the space of the mobile. The width. Next we are going to bring in a button. We are going to bring in two buttons. In the first button we are going to put the text of this to be speak. And let's change the background color of this to be orange and we are going to make the font to be bold. In the second button we are going to put the text to be next. We are going to make the font to be bold again and then let's change the background color to be orange. So first the kid will see the picture here in this image, image 1. And then after the kid identifies the picture, the kid should click on the speak button and then it will tell what it is. And then uh, it, the mobile will show whether the kid is correct or wrong in label 2. So I, I have brought a new label to the components. Now let's change the text. We are going to erase all the text from label 2. Let's increase the font size of this to be 20. And then after the, the correct or wrong is shown in label 2, they will click on the next button to go to the next picture. The next picture will be shown. Now we are going to go to the media section and we are going to bring in speech recognizer. So we are going to use this to find what the kid is speaking and to validate if it is correct or wrong. Now we are going to upload the images which I have shown you before. So here you can see in media let's upload the image. Now you can see that I have uploaded all the three images. The image of a bed, house and then a laptop. Now let's go to the blocks section. So first we are going to create a variable. Let's put the name of this variable to be objects. So in this variable we are going to put a list of all the objects. So currently you can see that I have, I have the pictures of three objects, bed, house and laptop. So you can add more pictures and add all of them to the variable. So let's go to lists and here you can see make a list. Now here I'm going to bring in three items because there are three objects. Now let's bring in this text and here we are going to put the name of each file. So first you can see bed.png. Now let me put the name of the file here. Now in this list you can see that I have put the name names of all the three files, the images, image files. Next, we are going to do another variable. In this variable, let's put the name to be object names. Here, we are going to put only the names. So, let me put... So, the first picture, the name is bed. So, it's a bed. The second picture, it's a house. And then the third picture, it's a laptop. Next, we are going to create another variable called object number. Here we are going to put the object number to be 1. So if, it, if the object number is 1, then the first image will be shown to the user. If it is 2, then the second image will be shown. So it's like that. 
So when screen one is initializing, which means the app is loading, we are going to show the first image in in image one this component. So here you can see set image one dot picture two. The picture is going to be the first bed dot png. So here you can see. Let's go to lists, and from here we are going to bring in select list item. So we are going to select the list item from the objects list. and then the index is going to be object number so now you can see that the object number is 1 so it will take out the first it will take out the first item of this objects list so the first item is bed.png so the bed will be shown in image 1 next when button 1 which is the speak button is clicked we are going to get the text from the user so to do that let's go to when button 1 dot click here we are going to get we are going to get the text using the speech recognizer and then after the speech recognizer gets the text we need to find if it is correct or wrong for example if a bed picture is shown in image 1 in this image component then the child should click on the speak button and then tell bed Now we are for this to find whether it, if it is correct or wrong we are going to use if and else condition so from control section here we are going to bring in if and else condition and then we are going to bring in the equal to operator from the math blocks next we will get the result from the speech recognizer so the result is whatever this peak if it is equal to the correct answer which is bed for the first question to find that we are going to put the select list item this this block and then the list is going to be object names and then the index will be object number now what it will do is it will get the result which is whatever they speak using the speech recognizer and if it is equal to the correct answer from the list object names and the index is 1 this is the index 1 bed so if it is if whatever they speak is equal to bed then the answer is correct so in label 2 it needs to show correct so set label 2 dot text to here let me bring in a text block i'm going to put here correct else which means that it is not equal then it means that the kid has told the wrong answer So here let's duplicate this and we are going to set label to dot text to be wrong. After they do the first question then they need to move on to the second picture. So for that they will click on button 2 which is the next button so that the next picture which is the house picture will be visible. And then they will click on next again to see the laptop picture. Now we are going to do the blocks for the next button so when button 2 is clicked we are going to do the same thing as we did when the screen 1 is initializing we will set the image 1 dot picture to but this time we are going to show the second picture which is the house dot png house picture so to draw the second picture we are going to increment the object number variable so set object number 2 here from the math blocks we are going to bring in this the addition operator so that it will get incremented which means it is we will get the object number and then we are going to add 1 to the object number so let me put 1 here now so that it the object number changes to 2 and then the second image will be visible the same way after they attend the second question or they identify the second picture they will click on the next button and then it will get incremented so that it becomes third it goes to the third picture and then the third image will be visible after they see all the three pictures and identify them they the next button should be disabled because there is no more pictures so to do that we are going to bring in a uh, if condition if and else condition again and here we will check if the quest object number is equal to 3 So let's go to math blocks and here you can see the equal to operator. So if it is equal to the number 
so let me put three here then what will happen is the next button which is button 2 should be disabled so here you can see let me go to button 2 and now I'm going to put set button 2 dot enabled to here it should not be enabled so let's put false else we are going to do all the all these things it will go to the next question so we also need to clear label 2 in which we show if it is correct or wrong when they click on the next button so set label 2 dot text to we are going to put an empty string here So here you can see the app it shows identify the picture and this is a bed so I'm going to click on speak bed you can see that I told bed and it shows correct now let me go to the next question so you can see here a house I'm going to click on speak house you can again see it shows correct now let me click on next and this is a laptop but I'm going to tell it tell mobile this time let me tell it wrong mobile you can see that it shows wrong now let me try again laptop now you can see that it shows correct so this is very useful for kids who are under four years and learning they are learning to identify the different objects so do you want to create more mobile apps like this? I have put many tutorials on creating apps using MIT App Inventor in my channel. So you can check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you.